Good day, everyone, and welcome to Crystal Soul Journey. Once again, we have some more pieces that we'll be uploading to our website. Uh, but before we did that, we wanted to uh, give you a chance to have a look at them here on YouTube. So for our subscribers and anybody else who happens to view the video, you'll get your you'll get a chance to have the first look. Now, before we get started, I uh, had a few people ask me, some customers and even some subscribers on YouTube, just how we go about getting such special, wonderful crystals. And I have to tell you that we owe that all to Hilda. Hilda's a Reiki master who has a great deal of energy and, and uh, is very sensitive to energy and is certainly the energy of the crystals. Uh, so we have a lot of different suppliers that we, uh, we use here in the Ontario area and even as far as away as Quebec. And uh, Hill will go and uh, sort through and find the crystals with the, I guess, the highest energy output. So she's always looking for that and is uh, very intuitive. Um, and then we look for color um, and clarity and uh, quality crystals. Again, it's a very intuitive thing. Um, but we all know all to Hilda. So <clears throat> if you wanted to know, now you do. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to start with the oldest crystals first, and uh, the first one I want to show you <clears throat> is a piece here called Numite. So we have, oh, it could be a wand, or it sits up, so certainly if I can show you that, maybe move these out of the way for a second, it sits up on its own, uh, so it would be, work wonderfully well in, uh, as a centerpiece to a crystal grid. But this is Numite. Now Numite is very, very old. Uh, I guess estimated to be somewhere around three billion years old, so that's 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 quite old. Um, obviously, it's a black mineral, um, but if you'll see, it has iridescent flecks of gold through it. Now, this this stone is exceptionally useful for meditating. It'll help you get in contact with you know the ages, so an ancestral work, um, uh, anything. Yeah, being in touch with the past, uh, a really, really great piece. Now we're lucky enough to be able to pick this up at a good price. It's only available. It's uh, <clears throat> just to say, it's only mined in uh, Greenland. Um, and because of where Greenland is situated in the world, they really only can get at it uh, a few months of the year in the summer months. Uh, so because of that is a fairly expensive. Uh, mineral to obtain. We're lucky enough to get it at a good price, so we'll be able to put this on our website for a good price. This is really, really a great piece to have, so um, it feels great in the hand and a great meditation piece. Now the next piece is only a little bit younger and it sits around two billion years old. This is Shungite. And uh, here we have a little pyramid of Shungite. Alright, very, very nice piece as well. Um, and just a very beautiful piece. It's a type of carbon. Now this was actually formed before there was any plant life on the earth, so, or any life at all for that matter. Um, so again, very pure and uh, a, quite an exceptional piece. So that'll too be web loaded up to the website. Uh, the next piece I want to show you is a piece of desert rose selenite. All right. Now this is a large, large piece. Is why we picked it. it has a beautiful energy. Um, usually, though, these desert rose formations, which I, I've always found quite beautiful, uh, especially the singular ones, tend to be you know very small uh, uh, balls. This one is quite large. It's 2.7 inches in diameter. Um, probably a little bit, well, definitely a little bit bigger than a golf ball. And maybe, maybe fractionally smaller than a tennis ball, so that'll give you sort of an idea of it. And you can see it's uh, quite a beautiful formation, and uh, really one this size lets you see all the all the rose type formations of the crystal. It really is quite a beautiful piece. And the next piece I'd like to show is you. this beautiful piece of selenite. Again, different than desert rose, but still quite quite beautiful. Now. If I can see if you can have a look at it, it's quite a large piece, um, and it's got some very interesting formations here along the side. I'm going to pull the camera back a little bit here, 
So hopefully you can get a better look at it. That's not much good. Let me see if I can tip this up a bit. There you go. All right, so yeah, very, very beautiful formation. You know, and it sets, it's about oh, the width of my hand, so probably a good five inches. And uh, yeah, quite a beautiful piece. I really like selenite. It's a very, very powerful energy stone. Uh, very good for the third eye chakra, if you're doing chakra work. I like selenite. It has you know, so many, so many different variations. Um, and it's reasonably, comp well, comparatively inexpensive to some of the other larger pieces. So, so you know, this would make quite a nice centerpiece um, or, you know, an impact piece for the home. Uh, but it's still reasonably inex inexpensive. And, it, you know, and, and it can sit sort of like that or, you know, up again like this. So really is quite a good piece. Now the next piece, or pieces I should say, that I want to show you are these beautiful pieces of chrysocolla, and they are exceptionally beautiful pieces. All right. Now it is not only chrysocolla, but there is um, some malachite as well through here, and, and you really can see it is such such a beautiful, beautiful piece. They're very calming stone. All right. They feel wonderful in the hand. They're really great again for meditation. Um, physically, it's said that uh, chrysocolla is great if you have a sore throat or laryngitis. It'll help with that as well. Um, but I just I love the feel of them. I love to hold them. Uh, a really great and, and just so so pretty. I mean, just beautiful, beautiful pieces. So we have this one and of course this one as well to go on the site. Uh, just equally as nice. Both a little bit different, but but very very beautiful pieces. I nearly mean, you know, dropped that one, so it would have been unfortunate. But we didn't drop it, so it's good news. It'll be able to make it up to our website, so we'll check that out. And then finally, I want to show you, and you're really going to love this. It's an celestial, smoky. It's almost a citrine, a very very pale smoky. I, I think you could almost say it's citrine. A very 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 beautiful piece. It's double terminated. You can see that on both ends. And uh, self-healed here, along here you can see. And it's just a beautiful, beautiful example of lustial quartz. If I can get in there, you can see, get the light to shine on it. Maybe you can see some of the pretty formations of the lustial formation. Really, really is an exceptional piece. And as always, the camera never really does it justice. There's, there's beautiful rainbows through here that... Uh, I'm not picking up, but uh, you trust me, you'll, you'll be happy when you see this in person. Uh, you'll be glad that you purchased it. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So, Again, another piece I don't expect to last too long. Um, so yeah, have a look. Uh, and if you need any more details, you'll find them all at uh, our website, www.crystalsouljourney.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, we have a lovely giveaway, and if you check our site, you'll see the video for that. And uh, uh, some lucky subscriber will be winning a meditation stone kit, uh, hopefully to be there in time for Christmas. We're going to draw it on December the 15th. So subscribe, take a look at the YouTube channel, and uh, we'll see you again real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.